Welcome to part three of the patient education series on total knee replacement. Hope you enjoyed the surgical video in part two. It's pretty graphic, but that's how we do it. Part three is devoted to teaching you about the postoperative course. How long do I stay in the hospital? Where will I go after the hospital? Will I have a lot of pain? How is my pain control? What do I need to do? What do I need to look for? That's how we uh, look at this postoperative course. First of all, after a total knee replacement, it is about three to five days in the hospital for you. At that point, you either go home, if you're ready, or you go to a skilled nursing facility. We also abbreviate that as a SNF, S-N-F, skilled nursing facility. A skilled nursing facility is not an old folks home. It is a rehab boot camp. They get you out of bed early. You're doing rehab a couple of times a day. You're doing a lot of exercises on your own. There are people there to teach you how to take a bath, how to get around safely, how to navigate stairs, things like that. For example, if you have two or three stairs to get in your house, it's very important that you're able to do that before you get home. After you leave the skilled nursing facility or when you go home, there are things such as a bedside commode that you may need, an elevated commode seat, which gets you a little bit higher off the toilet. You don't have to squat as much, quite frankly, to use the bathroom and get off. Uh, there are things like a walker we have to arrange uh, for you as well. You will go home with some pain medication, typically a narcotic pain medication that you'll need to take for up to a few weeks. It depends on your amount of pain. Sometimes patients will decide to take a pain pill or two right before physical therapy, and that often is a good idea because it allows you to endure or get through more of the therapy with less discomfort. We will set up outpatient physical therapy for you, typically several days a week, where you go to an outpatient facility once you've left the SNF or left the hospital, and they're going to continue to work with you to get the bend, to get the knee out straight and maintain it out straight. It is very important from day one post-op to keep the knee straight. If this is the knee and you put a pillow under your knee, typically you're going to have a hard time straightening your knee. It's very, very important to put a rolled pillow or a towel under your heel with your heel straight up and down so that your buttock and your heel are supported, and what that does is it allows the knee to straighten out. Very, very important to do so. It's also important to work frequently on bending the knee. We're trying to get zero degrees, which is out straight fully, to about 120 or 125 degrees and maintain that. If you get your range of motion early, you will do very, very well, typically. The people that wait around for physical therapy to make this happen typically do not do very well. In fact, if you have a very low pain threshold, this may be a not a very good operation for you because you will not do well. You have to, frankly, endure a good bit to get through this operation. On the other side, though, 95% of patients do extraordinarily well. Let's talk a little bit about things to look for. One of the things that can happen is a postoperative fever. This usually is in the first day or two postoperatively. If you take pain medicines, which you certainly will be doing in the hospital, we typically do not expand our lungs like that. We do not breathe as deeply because the narcotic pain medication tells our body we really don't need to take a deep breath. We will give you what's called an incentive spirometer. You want to take a deep breath on that once or twice per hour, and that keeps your lungs expanded, and typically that keeps your fevers away. We will watch your incision, and so will you. Even when you go home, you will have staples or sutures in your skin, and we want to look for redness, draining, uh, around the incision, anything like that. We want you to tell us about that immediately as if we have an early infection, that's something that's easier to take care of than if you sit on it for several weeks. Typically, we'll have you come to see us at about 10 to 12 days postoperatively, at which point we typically will take out your staples or sutures and place long band-aids called Steri-Strips on there. We also want to get you lined up with your outpatient therapy to continue and to see where you need to go from where you are. But again, it's the patient that hits that ground in a figurative sense, running, not literally, but figuratively running. You don't stop. You do your exercises from dawn to dark. In addition to formal physical therapy, you will do typically very, very well. The patient, again, that waits for physical therapy to make it happen, they're not going to do nearly as well. I would encourage you to write your questions down. Bring them to the office. In the preoperative period or the postoperative period, we will answer each and every one to your satisfaction. I hope this video series has been very helpful to you as you look at knee replacement as a possibility for yourself or maybe a loved one. We look forward to speaking with you, seeing you on your next office visit. Thanks again for all of your time and attention.